Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Betraya. When I left off, we found out her identity. Allison Markley. Her sister, Tabitha, booted out by her father, who's a complete dick. Complete, total, and utter dick. But first... Before we continue on to see what's going on, we're going to warp back to the outlying settlement. Why? Why else? Thief hunting time. Nope. Damn it. Yeah, I'm getting some, uh, I'm getting some lag here. Holy shit. No, oh, I'm getting some major, oh, that's because all the... Holy shit! Holy shit! That was an ass whooping. Now let me. Now they said I should be able to warp back, hit the bell. Let me talk to this guy real quick, just in case. Nope, nothing. And let's see if this brings him back. Oops. Okay. Well, I heard you. There you go, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Ooh, not that I need the money, but I just want to kill the fucking things. Now, Fort Hope. The thief is in this area right here. Oh. Hey, how you doing? Isabel. Is this your scabbard? Yes. Then you are Roger Emery. Yes, I remember. What happened? I remember she leaned close to me. She was crying. I told her to smile for me. I reached out to wipe away her tears. It took all my courage, all my strength. Ooh, a woman's scarf crusted with dried blood. Interesting. Hmm, I think I shall have to check this. I think it's probably going to be back at the, uh... Wait, where's it again? Yep, back at the thing. But first, I've got a fucking thief to hunt. Oh crap. Fucking ass skeletons. Walk back over here. Oh shit! Don't fucking do that! Your father remembers wiping away your tears. He told me to smile, to be strong. I found this bloody scarf. I remember kneeling over him where he lay face down in the dirt. I pulled off my scarf and pressed it against the wound to try and stop the blood from spilling out of him. He was clutching his scabbard to him. I saw it was damaged and his sword was still sheathed. He hadn't even drawn it. 
He was whispering something, something important. It was the name of his murderer. I begged him not to die, but he was already gone. After a time, I drew out his sword and walked up to the path to the fort to kill Oswin Ford. Oswin? You got some splaining to do, bitch! <sighs> Isabel Emery tried to kill you? She did. I remember the men pulled her away from me. The blade of the rapier had struck my belt, which spared me a more grievous wound, but the pain was still immense. Isabel cursed me as a murderer and a coward. I remember how, when I thrust my sword into Roger Emery's spine, he dropped his scabbard and the shape broke off. I told him it was bad luck, for it was a handsome scabbard. Then I pulled my blade free and watched him drop to his knees. I told him that if you mean to duel a man, you deem a coward and a cur. You should keep your guard up lest he seek to give you a dishonorable death. Then I left him there and walked back to the fort. Isabel must have found him before he died. When I kicked away the stool she was standing on, the rope went taut, and she swung from the gate, slowly and strang slowly strangling. Oh, shit. She opened her hand, and the chip from her father's scabbard fell to the ground. I told her to cheer up, for her father would be glad to see her. I wanted her to look at me, but she wouldn't. I wanted to see in her eyes. You fucking fuck what fuck tard fuck can I made me f you hung her. What the fuck is with these people? You I wish you were alive so I could fucking kill your disgusting ass. You son of a bitch. You too James Fuckley. You know what? You know what? I, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hunt me a damn. I, I'm gonna hunt me. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go hunt me a damn. Uh. 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 Um, a thief. I, I need to take my damn rage out now. I have learned the faith of a wraith. What'd you learn? Oswald Ford cheated in a duel against Roger Emery to avenge his pride. How can a man avenge his pride by sullying it? Seems Isabel Emery was hanged for trying to kill Ford with her father's blade. Though I pity her, it was foolish of her to think she would please her father by resorting to treachery when it was treachery that killed him. I don't give a shit. Fuck Tard McSwizzle Stick. I don't even care. I heard that shit. Uh huh. Fast travel enemies in here. Ugh. Asshole. Now, Miko find the damn asshole frickin' thief and be done with this bullshit. Coming in that area. Where are you? There you are. Got your ass! Not that I need the money, but... Oh, you know what? Where's my, uh... There. Go back there, cause I don't... No one else? Okay, good. Let's go unlock that trip, that... That, uh... Fast travel point. 
I'll be set. None shall pass without leave of the Lord Governor. There. Now we're squared away on that. I feel good, I'll give you a gift. Found a woman's shoe, it seems like it might fit you. Why are you giving it to me? In case you find another? Suppose I'll have to keep it then, for I would greatly be frustrated if I discarded it and later found its partner. So, we learned that every motherfucker in this place so far, every dude at least, is a big, lying, jack and ape of a cock stain. Except me, of course. And our great merchant, who I fear won't survive the next encounter. But what awaits us in the Western Gate? And are we getting closer to that horrible noise? Find out next time on the Big Man Plays. Betrayer. Today's Big Fatty Plus. Sayonara. I swear to God, was every single dude back in the day this much of a cock stained fuck nugget? Seriously, I mean, God. Dang. The douchebaggery of all this bullshit. I want to find. I, I would love to revive half these motherfuckers just so I can kill them again. Seriously. 